Oh, hey guys, Eric here, and don't mind me, just currently getting evicted from my own home for not paying the rent. Rent prices have been rising at an alarming rate as of late. Oh, that must be my I'm in debt alarm. This is all the other day, and it cost me like five grand. Man, if only these numbers told me the constant proportionality which my ever growing debt is accumulating to. I just made a math segue, didn't I? This is the ratio you've seen before. For every two K cuisine meals I eat, that's three nights of indigestion. Now, if we were to put a bunch of ratios here all at once, that's when things will get a little confusing. You stuff them in a nice, convenient box to make them a little less complicated. But that begs the question, is this table proportional? Well, the answer is no. You probably still yelled at the screen to annoy Mr. Morrissey. Now, this table over here is proportional, and how do I know that? Well, that's because these numbers all change at a constant rate. The constant of proportionality. Let's count by twos. Two, four, six, eight. Simple, right? Now let's draw this out on a number line. 2, 4, 6, 8. Now let's count the number of jumps we've just made. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now let's name these numbers by the 24th letter of the alphabet, X. And let's name the numbers we've been skip counting by the question I ask myself every day in the mirror, Y. For every number X increases by, Y increases by 2. 1 to 2. 2 to 4, 3 to 6, and 4 to 8. Now, in order to find out if this table is proportional, we're going to need to divide y by x. 2 divided by 1 is 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 3 is 2. And 8 divided by 4 is 2. The constant of proportionality is 2. Y is divisible by 2. And if you were to multiply X and K, you'd get Y. It all makes sense now. It all makes sense. Pretty cool, right? And congratulations, you just learned your first algebraic equation. Y divided by X equals the constant of proportionality. It's a bit of a mouthful. Why don't we just shorten it to K? Now please excuse me while I reenact what the father of constant of proportionality probably did to decide on the letter K to stand for the constant of proportionality. But Eric, I hear you cry. How may you remember such a formula? Well, I'm glad you asked because I've prepared a song just for this occasion. It's this. And now for another episode of Sherlock Sherman. Oh, it's horrible, Sherlock Sherman. Why has gone away again? No matter, ma'am. I'll be sure to get on the hat case like a tick on a bulldog. Now, where did you last see him? Over there by X and K! Hmm, well seeing as X is 5 and K is 3, I reckon we could multiply them and get our culprit. Why? Ah, that's hot! Ah. Hmm, now if only the damsel knew that multiplying X and K would get Y. I'm a guy. Oh crap, it's getting away! Are you sick and tired of looking at complicated tables all the time? Are you more of a visual learner? One that might understand better if given a photo? Then you're in luck, introducing the line graph. Using a revolutionary technique, we plot numbers on this line graph to make life easier. No more complicated boxes or random assortments of numbers needed. But it doesn't end there. For only double the effort, you could connect these plots and find that they represent the constant of proportionality. Always remember, if the line is straight and starting from zero, then it's proportional. This will make all your friends say, yeah, now that's proportional. For just a low cost of your free time. Order your graphing paper today by calling 1-800-GET-GRAPH TODAY. That is 1-800-GET-GRAPH TODAY. Or go online to getgraph.com and by visiting our website, you will get a free ruler along with any order using the promo code GRAPH. That is G-R-A-P-H, GRAPH. Must be zero years old or to order. Anyone under zero years old must get permission from parent or guardian before ordering. Sales are final, no refunds. Well, now that we've all been in let's see if my rent fees are proportional. It's not. I'm gonna have to open up like a five-star restaurant if I want to afford these prices.